Hi, I'm Dr. Hal Schurz. I'm president and founder of Docs for Patient Care. Today I'm going to be seeing my patients in the office as I always do. I'm a regular doctor, a real doctor, and my patients come in here worried about health care and the arguments that they're hearing about health care reform. They're confused, they are troubled, and I do something that now that I've never done before, which is to take two minutes at the end of every visit and tell them a, a little bit about health care reform. They are worried coming in here, and when they leave here, they are uh, reassured that doctors like myself are actually looking out for them, and that's what we're doing. We formed Docs for Patient Care because we're a bunch of concerned doctors, and there are doctors like us all around the country. Most doctors in this country are actually for health care reform. The Obama plan is not about health care reform. There's so many ways that we can fix this health care system. It's about problems with access, problems with affordability. Those problems could be solved overnight if we had the will to do it. Unfortunately, the Obama plan does neither. It just increases everybody's taxes, and it puts the federal government in my exam room, which I cannot allow to happen. As a doctor, I don't want to practice that way with my hands tied. As a patient and as a father, I do not want my family to get their health care from somebody who's going to be worried about who their boss is, whether it's going to be the secretary of HHS or whether it's going to be some other federal bureaucrat. We've heard the polls that 75% of the American public is against this Obama plan for health care reform, and doctors are no different. You may hear that there are some doctors who are in favor of the Obama plan, and you may see them standing on stage with President Obama wearing their nicely starched white coats. Those are doctors who don't see patients every day in their office like I do, who know what they're concerned about, what their real needs are. This is what I see every single day. President Obama has proposed a health care bill that is filled with lies, and I try to expose those lies to my patients. I tell them that they can't keep their doctor if they want one. They can't select their insurance company, and they certainly are not going to get the same treatment that they currently get now. It's important that they understand that doctors are for health care reform, but we're not in favor of the Obama plan. There are many ways that we can reform health care. But the Obama plan is not one of them. It is about increased taxation and control over your health care. This is something that is very important to me as a doctor. I have, a, I have sworn a Hippocratic oath to take care of my patients. The government does not care about you. I care about you. My colleagues care about you. And it's very important that you make sure that your doctors know about Docs for Patient Care and you contact your congressman today and tell them that they have an opportunity to stop the Obama bill before they lose their health care decision making. You've heard about the AMA and how they are in support of the Obama health care plan. Well, let me tell you about the AMA. It's a special interest group. They earn $77 million a year because the government gives them an opportunity to have a monopoly over the medical coding system that I use every day in order to get paid. They are protecting their special interest. They are trying to preserve their income stream and they are not concerned about doctors or the patients in this country. So when you hear that the AMA is for the Obama health care plan, you need to just remember for just a moment that most doctors in this country don't belong to the AMA. Only 17 percent do. Most who do don't see patients in their office every day like I do. Docs for Patient Care is an organization that was formed to stop the Obama health care plan, but we intend to do something more. We hope to replace the AMA and become an organization that will s support the doctors in this country and represent the medical health care needs of our patients. President Obama claims that if this bill passes, that there will be increased access to health care for all Americans. Well, I've got a secret to let you in on. Increased access does not mean increased availability. There is a critical doctor shortage right now, and this is going to get worse. Right now, 25,000 medical students graduate from medical schools every year. 35,000 doctors retire. The best, most experienced, 
brightest doctors, the mentors, are no longer going to be out there for our young doctors to learn from. There's going to be not just a medical crisis, it's going to be a medical catastrophe. There's going to be a void that can only be filled with non-doctors or doctors from foreign countries of questionable training. So if this Obama plan goes through, the quality of care that you receive is going to be very different from what you're receiving right now. This is a very personal matter to me because this is not just my career, my job, but it's my health care. It's my family's health care. And once it's gone, it's gone. It's not coming back. There's no way that we're going to be able to repeal what's taken away. This is a done deal once it happens. You know, doctors are really looking out for you. It's not about right or left. It's about right or wrong. We don't take care of Democrats or Republicans. We take care of patients. This is so critical for every person in this country to be engaged in this and to preserve our health care that you've got to do something. You cannot sit on the sidelines.